it's Monica. I'm back with another video and today I'm just so happy that I am 11 weeks today so I'll be doing a video. This video is about my 10th week pregnancy update for you guys. Um, I'm just so excited because another week and I finally get to tell my closest friends and my family about this pregnancy. I have been waiting like so long sometimes it's just so hard and I have uh, three other girlfriends actually that are also pregnant and they've told me they're like a little bit um, um, ahead of me obviously so when they told me I was so happy because I was like oh my god like I was like it took a lot in me to hold my you know like me telling them that I am pregnant as well but I'm just looking forward to tell all my close friends and family I've been meaning to tell my mom actually um, but um, a family a friend of ours um, has been staying with her so she's around so I don't really like I want to tell my mom but like I'm worried that she wouldn't be able to help it and then tell my aunt about it and I'm just like not ready for like that so my mom will also find out the same time as like my other friends would which is next week sometime all right so let's get to my symptoms okay 10 weeks let's start with sleep so sleep wise is not bad I had I had maybe a night or two that um, I had trouble sleeping because I had to use the washroom late at night and I just couldn't go back to sleep somehow. I was able to, but it took a while and then after like an hour and a bit, it was time for me to get up. Um, so, but so far I would say it's okay. It's not that bad. Like I'm still like, you know, sleeping. Like we go to bed early. We try to go to bed early between nine to 10 usually 9 30 and then we'd be like asleep by like 10 30 usually and then i get up around like 6 6 15 like during the week and on the weekends i try to sleep in like another like just extra hour um so that is it for sleep guys don't mind me because i have my notes here i just wanted to make sure that i cover everything so if i'm looking down that's because of my notes okay nausea <sighs> So when I hit my 10th week, um, 10 weeks in one day, I remember I had this like, just this burst of energy and I was feeling good. I was running errands with my toddler. I was like, yes, this is the day that, you know, those nasty first trimester symptoms are gone. Yay, yay, yay. And of course, I spoke too soon around night time around 7 8 p.m. like definitely there was like a wave of nausea but that was just one day and then like every day has been like pretty much the same like um you know like waves of nausea like of course like I mean thankfully I have my days that or I have my moments where I feel good I feel 100% but then I don't know when this nausea would just hit me again um so I don't want to get my um hopes up that like this week is gonna be it's gonna be completely gone but also i don't want to be you know negative nancy that it's just gonna stay for as long as i'm pregnant with this pregnancy um so nausea is still there so what i do with nausea is again like lemon candy those sugar-free lemon candies um if i can hold it like without like having a candy then that's good um and then what else crackers just when i thought i was done with crackers actually i'm not like i meant like soda crackers so i have that when i feel um when i feel dizzy or just like nausea um is there then i have some crackers and what else and that's about it usually eating helps like eating for me it's like eating like food food like rice and like something with meat um so that's for nausea and appointments appointments actually today i'm pretty excited because i have a doctor's appointment um i don't know what i'm getting excited about i just want to see my doctor i guess but like i haven't been referred to an OBGYN because um i did my blood work and my doctor um told me that um we're still waiting for this particular 
blood work. We're still waiting for this particular blood work. And it takes about four weeks. I'm like, okay. And um, once we receive that, that's when we can refer you to an OBGYN. So um, the OBGYN obviously needs something like before, like she sees me, like all the blood work that I did for this pregnancy. So yeah, just waiting on that. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping by like 13th week or 14th week of my pregnancy, I'm able to see the OBGYN. Um, I don't know, it's just comforting, like, you know, I don't really feel, I mean, so far, like, I feel okay, like, I'm not bleeding or anything like that, but it just would be nice, because I remember with my first pregnancy, everything was bang on, everything was on point, everything was fast, I was referred right away, and all that, no problem, and this time, it's not really happening the way I want it to, but, I mean, I'm just praying that, you know, like, everything is good, everything goes smoothly, you know, and this pregnancy will just be like healthy and just, I don't know what it is guys. Like I, I don't know, like I, I did mention this in my previous um, videos that the second pregnancy is somehow making me feel more um, paranoid. I don't know what it was, like, I don't know if maybe because I've heard too many miscarriages story from the time Maya was born and up to now. So it's like, for me, you know, like, it's like, oh my God, like, I'm just, you know, I know it's not, it's not good thinking, but I, I try to avoid it. But sometimes when you're like, you know, when you're pregnant and you just can't help it, you can't help but worry. Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> what about you guys? Do you guys worry at all or I don't know? Um, so that's why I'm just getting excited the further along that I'm getting and we know like symptoms of miscarriage and all that then um, I'm happy all right so um, cravings so cravings I wouldn't say I have been having like strong cravings like I did with my first pregnancy with this pregnancy I noticed that it's hard for me to think of what I want to eat but once I figure it out once I once I find out what I want to eat I eat quite a bit of it which is not a good thing like I'm trying my best to like stop when I'm full and not when I'm stuffed <laughs> um, what do you call this um, yeah so with cravings like it's not really like I remember with Maya like I was just craving a lot of things that was like I need to have like you know very particular stuff like and you know like from Indian food to ramen and all that like with this pregnancy it's not that I'm not totally craving but they're more like general generalized like with this pregnancy I noticed that I crave a lot of meat like with every meal that I eat I need meat um, so I don't know if um, I know the old wives tale like say oh if you're craving meat or like cheese or something like and the salty or um, savory means you're having a boy I don't really know that but um, it could be my um, a way um, of my body telling me that I need more iron I've always been like low in iron so so yeah I would say meat like I crave a lot of meat um, and I've been eating a lot of carbs, you guys, like a lot, like every day I eat like carbs, like rice, noodles, and then with something like either veggies or some type of meat, um, before getting pregnant, like I was really happy with if all I had for protein was egg, <laughs> um, but it's different this time and yeah. Um, so yeah, so for sweets, um, I still eat sweets, but it's not my go-to, like it's not really something that, oh my god, I have to have this ice cream, like, I I did have ice cream last night because um, Derry and Maya wanted to go for ice cream, and so um, I went with them, like it was pretty good, but um, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't like, usually I remember before this pregnancy, or like, you know, like, um, even with my first pregnancy when I would have something like sweet like it's so like satisfying like oh my god like this is so good and I noticed like these days when I'm eating something like a little bit on the sweet side sweet side 
I, I, I like it, but not to the point that I'm like enjoying it like to the fullest, like, oh my God, like this is all I need. This is what I've been getting for. No, not at all. Um, vitamins, I still take Materna every day. Um, there are days that it's good, like meaning when I take it, I feel fine. Like I obviously have to take it with meals. I mean, that's what they recommend, right? Like otherwise, like I'd be gagging and throwing up. Um, but even with meals, I find that there are days that I feel kind of sick after taking it. Like say I, I take it at night. That's why I take it at night too, because I feel like if I feel sick, at least it's nighttime. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to be at home. I'm done like activities with my toddler. Um, so yeah, I still take that once a day. I take Materna and yeah but so far like even though like i feel nauseated or i feel i feel like i'm gonna throw up and stuff like i actually never do like i never did so i am so happy with that because um last thing i want is throwing up like vitamins because i know the baby needs that a lot so i'm happy that i'm not actually throwing up even though i have that feeling of like Ugh. um food aversions um they're still present, yes. Um, not to the point that it will make me throw up. No, um, I'm still having a little. Um, I'm still having a hard time with my Instagram. Like I said, like I do run a food blog, so and I use Instagram a lot um, for my food blog. And since this pregnancy, I haven't been um, as active there as I want to be because of my food aversions and my profile and. Um, the people that I'm following, um, they're mostly like friends, but also mostly a lot of food bloggers as well. So yes, like they have been posting a lot of food and normally I would drool over them and just like comment like, oh my God, where did you go for this? And then now I quickly go through my feed and I'm like, oh God, oh God, I don't want to see this. Like, I don't want to see this. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I'm really, really looking forward to, um, you know being over the food aversions because i want to get back to my food um blogging or vlogging like i miss um you know uh, i miss filming recipes now it's just so hard because even if i know what i'm trying even if i know what i want to eat they're nothing really spectacular that it's worth like taking videos off it's like rice fish and bok choy it's like you know what i mean like it's nothing like oh my god like who doesn't know how to pan fry a fish like um and it's just i guess that's like energy level too like before this pregnancy um you know i would like other than filming a recipe every single day once a day i would post um a food photo and that i haven't i haven't done that in a while in fact i think since this pregnancy so i'm 11 weeks now i've probably posted like three or four photos since um yeah it's that ugh, it's that um i kind of feel bad about it but at the same time it is what it is that's how i'm feeling so i'm going to go with it and i'm just gonna wait for that time until i am feeling better and i'll get back to it and then um okay so with drinks um so far i've only been enjoying really really cold water with ice if really 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 cold water isn't enough i have to add ice yes um and then what else other drinks coffee oh um last week sometime last week i had maybe a coffee like half of a decaf coffee which it wasn't bad but again like that again that food version of coffee it's it's still there it's still present because when i had that coffee i was like okay it's not bad but it's it also wasn't again satisfying for me when usually coffee is like my number one go-to i have to have it in the morning one in the morning one in the afternoon and on the weekends i like my specialty coffees and now i just don't care for it at all which is probably good because like those like specialty coffees like you know with all the sugar and all that it's probably not good for me and the baby so i'm kind of thankful that i haven't been craving that um energy level i would say energy level is not bad like during the day like i feel fine except for when waves of nausea hits 
um, but energy level is fine. I still am able to wake up like around 6, 6.15, usually 6.15, that's the time that I have my alarm set. Um, but I find that when it when it's around like 7, 7, 8 p.m., I'm starting to feel it like, is it bedtime yet? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I can't wait to just lie down and just like, you know, but I am very thankful for that because honestly, like in my, um, with my previous weeks from four, fifth, six, seventh, eighth, those weeks I was tired like during the day and guys, it's so hard when you have a toddler at home because mom guilt is so real. It's like, I was just tired and my toddler just wants to play and I'm like, I don't have the energy. But then I don't want her to, I don't want her to feel like, oh, because I'm having another baby, now it makes me tired because, yeah, because when I was so tired before, like, um, she'd be like, mom, like, I want to, I want to do something, I want to do this, do that, and then I'm like, and then I just look at her and then just like, why mom, are you tired because you're having a baby? <laughs> and so I kind of feel bad about that. So I am thankful that even though the nausea is still there, that I have the energy that I have now. Um, but I'm still hoping for, you know, more energy, hopefully, once I pass the first trimester so I can do more things with her. And I just feel like, you know, like when you have more energy, obviously you're more fun to be around with. I'm more creative with her. And, you know, like I get to do more um, at the house. Um, and then ultrasound i haven't had any ultrasound yet um my first ultrasound will happen next next monday so i am excited i'm very very excited so that would be my 12th week um, ultrasound so i'm really really looking forward to that guys i just want to hear the heartbeat i want to see the baby and i feel like i'm going to be emotional and it's going to be me um i'm going and then terry and my little one because if if you've been watching my videos we live in ottawa we are from calgary we moved here in ottawa because um terry got a contract with the government and it's just temporary but like we don't know yet exactly when it's gonna end or what we're gonna do after which is we'll have to talk about it later on um so we can't really leave maya anywhere or to any like anyone because we don't have friends and family here but that's fine because i also want her i want her to be there and i want her to see the baby <laughs> so it'll be exciting what she thinks because now i feel like she understands like you know she says good morning to the baby and um yeah she's a smart girl like she's very she's just very like um she's always oh, wait, oh by the way i got um a fetal doppler and i haven't had a chance to find the heartbeat but i'm not too worried about it but i think i tried like three times and maya was around me she was present and she was so supportive she was just like mom are you okay you'll be fine you'll be fine here let me put let me put this thing like the aloe vera on my belly <laughs> so cute um and then and i think that's about it and then i am going to show you guys my belly um so there's definitely it's definitely not flat anymore <laughs> but so that's it you can see that it is there. Yep. It's uh, it's showing. You know what? This stage is actually pretty. <laughs> when when you haven't told anybody and nothing fits anymore, it's like one of those that's like people either think you're prego or you're just like oddly shaped human being because i'm pretty skinny and then i have this like belly so it's like you know what i mean like people probably don't like notice but that's just how i feel it's like oh my god and it's not just that when when you you know when you're not telling anybody yet about your pregnancy obviously you're trying to hide it as much as you can um 
speaking of that, um, I only have, I think, one or two jeans now that can fit me. One being this one that I'm wearing because it's like one of those like girlfriend jeans, like it's made loose. So it still fits me, but end of day, no, like it doesn't fit me anymore. Like, you know how like you wake up and it's like um, your belly is just like normal size for your pregnancy where you're at. And then end of day, it's like, seriously, like end of day, I look like 16 weeks pregnant. Or 17 like it's crazy um, so um, I'm still trying to think I'm still deciding whether I should buy maternity pants I already have I did buy maternity leggings but like I don't know if like if that's all I want to wear like during this whole pregnancy but I also don't want to spend too much because you know like obviously I can't use it for a long long time um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions for me, just leave it on the comment section down below. Let me know how you're feeling. If you are pregnant as well, congratulations. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. I will update you guys um, how the ultrasound went. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so. Um, my channel is about family, lifestyle, and food. I have a lot of food recipes if you guys want to check it out. And